Tonight, News 5's Clay Lapar takes us to where almost $1 million is being invested to make sure future teachers being taught here in Northeast Ohio are using the best methods to teach kids how to read. Take our picture. It's a proud moment for one year old Charlie and his mother, Jordan Reeser, reading 400 books. Even at such a young age, this University of Akron alum is making sure her son is on the right path. <laughs> it's actually a kitty cat. Meow. Given around 40% of all third grade students across the state are not considered proficient in reading. We're a big book family, and it's just so. Um, so fun to see him discover that love of the library and the love of books. So we read every single night, and then a lot of times during the day, he's going to his own little library and pulling out a book and sitting on my lap. And Reeser's alma mater is taking it one step further. So we're excited, yeah. We've wa I've waited 30 years for this. Rebecca Tolson serves as the director for the brand new Center for Structured Literacy at the University of Akron, funded with a nearly million dollar grant through the state. Every teacher that is kindergarten, pre-K to five, that goes through the university to be a teacher will go through this. Establishing a new center focused on teaching teachers. If you don't have that connection between every letter and every sound. And equipping them with the tools to help increase the state's youth literacy rate. Until all children can read, we need to be teaching more and better explicitly based on the structure of the language. This is not about a philosophical view. This is about the methods that are aligned to the evidence or science. I'm calling for a renewed focus on literacy. This comes after Governor Mike DeWine mandated last year that school districts focus on using phonics or sounding out words to teach kids how to read. That means phasing out the methods where kids can learn some words by context clues, such as other words in a sentence or pictures as a way to recognize and remember the word. It's important to get reading right the first time. The Reading Recovery Council of North America, which serves about 2400 elementary schools across the state and is based in Columbus, is also suing the state, arguing a judge should throw out Governor Mike DeWine's phonics requirement. That case is still ongoing. In Akron, Clay Lepard, News 5.